Uh, hi everybody, I, uh, as promised in the staff meeting the other evening, I said I'd show you some stuff uh, that I'd made for science to perhaps make in the assessment of it a little bit more friendly. Um, this is obviously my home computer, my desktop, um, but on the staff shed area there is a science folder and I shall put the, the folder called Science Target Tracker Support into the staff shed area. Uh, when you find it and you click on it, it will have exactly the same contents as in here. Um, and this Word document is the is the most important one. So what it does is it brings up uh, a document that looks like this, which has got the year one, two, three and four working scientifically uh, science curriculum in strands going down it. Now, all I've done is I've taken the new target tracker areas from the sonar curriculum that we've agreed. They are analyse data, ask questions, gather data, make observations and perform tests um, and use equipment. So they're the same for nearly every year group. What the target tracker statement actually says underneath those headings for each year group and then I've matched it to what the national curriculum says. Now, some of them are very obvious. Some of them are a little bit uh, trickier to, to get your head around. In this next column, what I've done is I've put a little bit more detail. So if you're not quite sure whether your child is achieving this target tracker strand here, then you can certainly have a look here for a little bit more information to see if they are, um, if they're sort of ticking those boxes then basically. Now, what's also quite useful is as the at the bottom, when you go to the bottom of your year group, what I've done is I've linked in blue the main areas of the science curriculum that you should be covering within your year group. So, for example, I'm in year one. I'm going to look at everyday materials. and I'm just going to click the hyperlink very quickly. Had to uh, just take my camera down for a second. Now what will happen is this will direct you to a plan resource. Um, they're absolutely fantastic um, and these can be used in lots and lots of ways. They are a brilliant moderation tool, not that we do science moderation, but it's a really good class tool for you to look at, for you to read and for you to sort of double check your assessments on, um, on the children's understanding. It doesn't specifically do one for working scientifically but what you can see is as you scroll down some of the boxes depending on the task that's being done will be filled um, and then there's a judgment made at the end to show whether this child is sort of working online or not now the plan um, website they've produced these for every single uh, strand for every single year group they've deemed this child to be secure within the band so what we would be hoping is if, that this child would have everything in target tracker blued off to show that they are secure within this science element and that's a sort of a helpful tool really for us to uh, for us to be using um, unfortunately when we have a look at it in let me click here there we go in the Google Drive, what Google Drive doesn't allow us to do is to uh, hyperlink documents. So when you go into the Google Drive and you're obviously in the Westlands First School Drive, in Subject Leaders and then Subject, Subject Files, Science 2021, Assessment, clickety click, Science Target Tracker Support, which is the same name as the folder I've shown there, you will see all of the individual documents. You will see the Word document that I've created at the end. And all you'll need to do is you'll need to find by hovering over the year group and the and the sort of the strand of science that you're going to be covering. And I'm hoping that these will help you assess science, uh, confidence, make your assessment of science more confident. Um, obviously, they can also be used as a bit of a planning tool. So if you know that you need to be covering this area in Target Tracker, then this is the statement that you would put onto your planning. And obviously, this is what you would be looking for or what you would be sort of planning to achieve in, your, in the delivery of your science lessons. Um, so it's a tool there to help you. There's no expectation that you must use it. 
it's just a helpful hint if you want to make sure that your judgments are as secure as possible. Um, if you've got any questions, then please, please ask me. Um, but I hope that this was helpful.